Good day everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. I am back home. Uh, unfortunately, this is not Vancouver. This is an outlet mall and actually we're here at the Seattle Premium Outlets in this gloomy West Coast day. And it's a cold day to boot, so a uh, little bit of good news and a little bit of bad news. The good news is that the shopping is all done and we get to leave this uh, maze of a place. And uh, also good news is that I found a really nice buffet around here. It's actually in Tacoma, so really close to the Seattle area, about half an hour away by car. And if you drive fast, it's only 15 minutes away. So uh, really grateful for the folks who've reached out and uh, recommended this place called the Harvest Buffet. And uh, if you know of great places, please share. And I'll leave my Instagram uh, in, the, uh, in the little titles there. So the bad news though, is that the friends are tired and they don't want to drive any further. So they're gonna head back or they were already heading back. So really grateful that at least you can join and we can have a nice buffet together because I'm definitely gonna go. And uh, relying on the wisdom of crowds, uh, I've kind of sourced through a little bit of the reviews. So a few bad reviews and a few good reviews. Some of the bad was uh, the service uh, wasn't up to par. You had to walk to your own table. No one led you. Uh, food was not replenished and uh, <laughs> uh, things were surprisingly sweet, including the kimchi. So it'll be nice to put that to the test and uh, we'll go there. And the good reviews though, our uh, people were friendly, great value and great food. So with that, I think I'm sold. I hope you're hungry. Uh, and if I can find my car, uh, we'll be on our way. Uh, come on, let's go. A little misjudgment on my part. While the Harvest Buffet is only about a 20 to 30 minute drive from Seattle, it turns out that the Seattle Premium Outlets is nowhere near Seattle. It's about an hour further out, so a little bit of driving, a lot of traffic on the I-5, and eventually we spot the Harvest Buffet sign and we have arrived. That was a long drive and a little bit of misjudgment on my part. Uh, so somehow the Seattle Premium Outlets is nowhere near Seattle. But if you're in Seattle, it's only about, oh, scared me. It's only about a 30 minute ride or a 30 minute drive. But we have arrived and I can't think of a better time because that coffee uh, was not such a good idea. So there is a bit of a lineup and uh, it's about $20, uh, 20 and change for the buffet. Let's, uh, let's check it out. But I think we might need to stand in line first. Hey Edward, Hi. it's a busy night today. Is there a lineup? Yeah. It, there is. Sure. All right. Um, can I um, get in line? <laughs> okay, thanks Edward. Pretty massive here and it's just like the I-5 coming down here. We'll stand in line. So unlike the I-5, this is moving pretty quickly and I think we're up next. Hi Melanie. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, uh, Good. Uh, can I get... Um, uh, for one? Okay. You are military? Not military, unfortunately. Any drinks for you? Or fountain drinks? Oh, let's go for a drink. And I have a wait time around 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. So the wait is about 20 minutes? Any drinks? So that went by quickly. My number is up. Hey, Alice. Hello. Hi. So that wasn't too long of a wait. Yeah, long time wait. About 25 to 30 minutes. Can I get a table? Oh, Cindy, okay. She'll take care of the table for you. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Enjoy. Thanks, Alice. All right. And I can see how busy this buffet is. This is kind of like traffic. Oh, and here we go. Cindy, thank you so much. All right. So this is crazy busy and I can understand why because uh, I saw the prices for the buffet and for lunch, it's like 15 and for dinner, it's 20. And uh, I think on the weekends, it's a little much. It's, uh, it's a little bit more at about $24. And it seems like it's a great deal because uh, while I was getting my drink, I got a chance to peruse the buffet and just kind of do some reconnaissance. And it is huge. That hot food buffet line goes on forever. The hardworking folks at the Mongolian station and the endless cloches at the dim sum station. And typically Asian buffets aren't known for the desserts, but uh, they have an impressive dessert station with cotton candy and uh, the poor fellow there was uh, coated in that pink uh, fluffy stuff. So I think I need my Dr. Pepper. Mm. 
very nice. And before we check out the buffet, I think one of the bad review uh, items it has been dispelled where the servers and the hosts don't uh, escort you to the table and so forth. You still have to get your own drinks. And I think they mentioned that the drinks were self-serve, but that is kind of expected and I guess uh, that's how it goes. But really great service from Cindy and Alice. So uh, I guess bad review number one, uh, dispelled. And with that, let's go for the buffet. So this is one of the many rooms here and I got a chance to take a look around and they have other rooms as well, as well as people enjoying their food at the best tables possible as they're closest to the buffet. And let's see, where do we start? This is huge. I think over there is a sushi station and I think this is the Appy station as well. And to the right, the Mongolian station. And further down, what we have is some more hot food and the dim sum station. But uh, right in front of me is this long buffet line of hot food because it says so up there. And over there, beautiful dessert with ice cream and cotton candy and all the baked items there. All right, so let's get started and uh, let's grab a plate here and I can see all the amazing food from the roast beef to all the amazing barbecue and the fried items. And we'll definitely come back for that and let's grab a plate first. Okay, so a bit of a traffic jam here, and I think we'll start with the sushi and the appetizers. Let's see what they have, and I need to figure out which way the line goes. So it looks like we have to start all the way at the end. And over there are some of the fruits, but I think we'll skip that and let's see what they have. So a little bit of salad here, and I think this I can skip because there's so much more up ahead. So this is a seaweed salad, the squid salad, and oh my goodness, we have a bit of sashimi here. A little bit of ginger, a little bit of fish here. Maybe we'll double it up. I think this is white fish and I can see chef over there dicing up the sashimi. That looks wonderful. A little bit of salmon and a little bit of the tuna. Okay, and we have some wonderful fried crunchy items here. Let's give the fried sushi a try. And this is kind of like the best of both worlds, tempura and sushi all together. Let's go for one on the other side of the plate. All right, now we have the sushis from the shrimp to the tuna. That is a pink tuna. Here, right here, some salmon, and then some white squid. And it does get better because if you're not into the raw, they have the cooked ones and this is eel. Wow. A little bit of eel. And this is salmon. I'm gonna give this a try. Salmon skin, the best part. And then what do we have here? This is a spicy tuna and the spicy salmon. And I think let's go with the spicy tuna followed by a spicy salmon. All right, and it just goes on. Oh, so the plate's filling up and I just can't resist. This is ikra. Uh, salmon roll, Let's see, one spot left. Okay, and we haven't even moved on to the rolls yet. Some tobiko, some crab, and now these are the rolls. And this is not just a California roll. This is a shrimp tempura and California roll combined. And I think we'll just have to take the two. All right, and moving on, we have a crazy roll because that's a California roll with stuff on top. Spicy salmon roll and a dragon roll. I don't want to fill up on sushi because there's so much more, but I think I will just go for one more. These are the rainbow, some uh, twin roll. I guess this is crab. All right, spicy tuna. And I think there's one spot left for a crab tempura roll. Looking really good. Right here. And then it continues. So many rolls, what are you making there? Spicy California. California. Thank you so much. So lots of great people here and you can see uh, this is never ending and it uh, keeps getting replenished. So it's kind of hard to figure out what to get for your first round, but I think I'm going to go for some of the dim sum. And I remember one of the comments are saying that the dim sum wasn't replenished. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's see what we have here. So right off the bat, I just can't resist. I should know better. These are glutinous rice in, uh, I think, lotus leaf, and they are heavy, but so tasty. 
and usually I would stay away from that, but uh, just so hard to resist and let's see. Okay, so these are buns and I believe they're filled with custard. <laughs> All right, some more buns, some barbecue pork buns and I think I'm gonna stay away from that. All right, and more buns. So hopefully we have something interesting over here. Some xiao mai. Just one here and we'll pair it up. Let's see, moving on. Ah, this might not be for everyone, but this is one of my favorites. This is beef tripe. And uh, I know Bill and Lisa aren't into the uh, uh, organ meats, but uh, if you have a chance, give this a try. Right over here. And one more. And the last item, let's see. I think I know what this might be. Yes, the obligatory chicken feet. All right, but these are actually quite tender. Oh, and kind of worthy of any dim sum restaurant. So two for good measure. All right, and let's see what they have. Oh, some hot food. We are beginning to transition from appetizers to mains. And I think we'll start off with some gyoza. Right over here. And we'll double it up. And my plate is getting so full, but there are so many other items. I think we'll need to end it here with one chicken wing. Okay. And we'll have to come back for the rest. So this is one of the biggest buffets I've ever seen and I couldn't help it. Looking at the soup station, I actually got some wonton soup here and you have to pick and choose your stations carefully. Uh, there's no way you can try everything. The appetizer station with the cold seafood, I had to skip that. But let's give some of the sushi a try. And I gotta try the tempura sushi roll before it gets too, too cold here. Let's grab it. And I think this is the tempura sauce or the sauce for the roll. Mm. Not too bad. It's got a nice batter. And I think this is a standard California roll. Mm. That is a big bite. So I think, in fact, I know I overdid it at the sushi station, but let's give the spicy salmon a try. A little bit of soy. Mm. They did a good job. Lots of spicy salmon, a little bit of rice and some seaweed just to hold it together. And this is perfectly seasoned. The Goldilocks scenario, not too spicy, just enough flavor. I'm gonna try the tempura California roll. <laughs> mm. Wonderful balance. Lots of filling, just enough rice and seaweed to hold it together and a bit of crunch on the outside. Thank you. It's too much food. I think we got to move on to the wonton soup before it gets too cold. Mm. Actually, I know this is a buffet, but the wontons are done exceptionally well very light wrapper and lots of filling. And I didn't see this earlier. This is the dipping sauce for the gyoza. So let's try it on the wonton. Oh, the wonton with the sauce was so good. We've got to try that with the gyoza. A little bit of soy, a little bit of tang, a little bit of spiciness. It's a very nice crunch. And typically at the phase, the wrappers tend to be very thick. This is nothing of the sort. Very thin, lots of filling. And a nice little crunch. Let's try the sticky rice. And we will need our hands for this. So can't eat the wrapper which I've learned at a very young age. And I am glad this is still nice and hot. Let's give this a try. All right. Little bit of mushrooms, little bit of pork. And that wonderful sticky rice. Very well done. Nice and soft and sticky. 
Lots of flavor from the mushrooms and the pork. Very delicious. And finally, we gotta go for that beef tripe. I know you just need to get your head around it, but give it a try if you get a chance. Mm. Very nice. So, first round shouldn't be a problem. Although, to try all the foods here, you might need round two, three, four, five. That might be a bit of a problem. So, I'm gonna finish this up and we'll take you back. Mm. That Dr. Pepper is much needed. First round has come and gone, and that was a lot of food. The sashimi was nicely chilled and fresh, as it should be. And if you haven't tried the barbecue eel sushi, give it a try. Very tasty, lots of flavor. The shell mai, a little bit of a disappointment. The filling was just not up to par, but the chicken wing made up for it, and so did the salmon skin sushi. And with that, I think it is time for round two, a little bit more hot food. Come on, let's go. And this time, oh my goodness, it is so busy here. I know I've said this before, but this really reminds me of the I-5 tra traffic. And uh, I think we'll need to get in line. So I think we'll start off where we left off. All right, so those were the chicken wings. And right here is, oh the cheesy spinach some cheesy potatoes and i know this is filling just can't resist <clears throat> all right some imitation crab meat some pizza for the kitties some garlic bread and then i think those are the cheesy mussels all right and here we go all right, and finally, we have made it up to the line. That wonderful yellow liquid there is butter with sweet and sour and corn. Got some rice noodles. I think that is lo mein, and I think a little bit of fried rice because we're going to have a lot of sauces right over here. All right, and let's see. A little bit of chicken on top of the rice some veggies, some salmon, some clams, broccoli, oh, and salt and pepper crab. All right, let's go for a little bit here. Number one and number two. All right, and we're not even halfway there yet. And we've got a lot of items here. And look at this beautiful shrimp. Let's see, a little bit here. And number two, a little bit of pasta, eggplant, and orange chicken. I think that is original from Panda Express. Oh, some spicy fish with a little bit of the spicy sauce, some coconut shrimp. That is my messy plate there. And I can see all the wonderful foods coming. And this is the Kung Pao chicken, a little bit here. Teriyaki chicken, and these are beautiful crawfish, but I think nothing compares to those in Houston. I think in the west coast we get these frozen but let's give it a try right over here a baby one green beans okay now we're talking the spare ribs and the shrimp gotta go for a bit of that and some ginormous shrimp on top of the other shrimp here there we go oh i think we're about halfway through and uh, still so much food all right and this is the roast beef let's give it a try okay that it is really tender. Look at how juicy and fatty it is. Some sausages, some barbecue pork ribs. Oh, let's go for one of those. So these can be pretty heavy. So just one will do. Okay, so so far this is a carnivore plate. And moving on, some egg tarts. Okay, some fried shrimp. All right, so you can't win them all. Roasted bananas, I have no idea what they were thinking. We've got some fried rolls. Here, I'll take one. Oh, and I see everyone eyeing the fried chicken. So let's give this a try. And maybe another one. So these are fried scallops, some spring rolls, 
sesame balls, and french fry. And I think we'll finish this round off with a spring roll. It steamed you up over there. And that is all we need for round two. Oh, but I digress. They have the wonderful baked mussels. And there's just enough room for one and two. And this really is it for round two. So that huge, long, hot food buffet line required three plates uh, to get all the food. And don't ask me how I got all that back to the table. But uh, this is certainly a lot of food. And I made the cardinal mistake of uh, getting everything at once, risking that some of the items will go cold. But uh, I think we better dig into the roast beef first. <laughs> and uh, okay, so this is a nice fatty cut and I barely need the knife, but it is tender. Oh, let's give that a try. And I think we need to try it with a little bit of healthy spinach in the cheese. Let's give that a try. All right. It's kind of like a pot roast that just melts in your mouth and it's nice and fatty. And you can tell it's been cooked for a long time and a little bit of cheese makes the perfect bite. Mm. Very nice, soft and tender. And I think we need to go for the shrimp, but so many shrimp to choose from, from the spicy to the crispy to the coconut. I think we'll try the coconut shrimp. Mm. Actually, the shrimp is very good. This is nice and meaty, and it is battered and fried so that the batter holds on to the sauce. And I think we need to try this with a little bit of rice. Scoop together. Mm. Very nice. I'm just looking at the crawfish here, and it's kind of reminiscent of the Goldilocks, from Papa Bear to Mother Bear to a uh, baby bear. I think we got to give it a try. Let's go for the papa bear. Mm. Bit of flavor. Let's try the tail. And a tiny tail. Let's give it a crack and a pinch. <clears throat> And let's see if it comes out. There we go. A little bit messy. And finally, a little bit of crawfish tail. Well, that's pretty good, but nowhere near as good as a fresh crawfish in Houston. I think here, hmm, crawfish always comes in frozen. So there's a little bit of a miss on that. But let's try the spicy fish. And this is the one that I got a little bit of sauce with. Let's give that a try. Oh. It's the flavors. It's the chili sauce that makes all the difference. And that's why I spoon extra amount of sauce on here. And that's also why I got some fried rice so that it pairs well with the sauces. Mm. It's pretty good. And we got to try the crab while it is relatively fresh. Try the leg here. And all this wonderful crispy coating, that is the one you try first. Mm. Lots of good flavor. Let's try the meat. And I think we will need the crackers for this. There we go. And again, it's a bit of work pull that apart with the crab. A little bit more of a crack. There we go. And it should just open up. There. So I think this is on the verge of a little bit dry, but let's see. Okay, a little bit of crab meat. Mm. Not bad, but it is a bit on the dry side. I guess that's because it's deep fried. 
Let's see if we can go for the rest. It is messy, but kind of meaty. Mm. So, again, because of the work, and since it's a bit dry, I'll skip the crab, but definitely go for the prime rib or the prime rib with a pot roast. I think I gotta try one of those mussels. See, a nice baked mussel. I think this is a mayonnaise sauce. I think we'll take the uh, connector mussel off. There we go. Mm. Okay. A nice plump mussel with the bake. It's not cheese. That is actually a seafood mayonnaise. And next to it, I think with our hands, I think we got to try the barbecue pork rib. Mm. Okay. So the beef and the pork are wonderfully tendered, cooked for a very long time, and a luscious, wonderful sauce, which is nice and tangy. Mm. So, I'm gonna, still a lot of food here, and I, I'll have a tough time finishing this off, but I'm gonna give it a try. And we'll take it back once this is done. I gotta check out the grill or the Mongolian grill station. So we'll take you back. Mm. It's about time for a new Dr. Pepper. Mm. That was a lot of food for the second round. But you know, it seems like the Western food is much better that potato, while it did not look like much and pretty heavy, it was heavenly, light and fluffy with a cheesy, creamy filling. And the spicy salt and pepper shrimp, very crispy, a little bit of work, but very meaty. And that scallop was an imitation scallop, but to make up for it, the crispy coconut shrimp, nice and crunchy and topped with a little bit of that spinach. That makes yet another perfect bite. And with the carnage of round two, let's go for one final round, I think that's all I can handle. And if it looks like things have died down, that's because they have. Round two took forever, but I think I'm gonna go for some of that grill, grab a plate. All right, and let's see. So this is nice, you get the whole row to yourself and we will concoct a wonderful grilled dish. See, starting off with a little bit of onions right here, some broccoli and mushrooms, and I think, let's make it a little bit spicy. <clears throat> okay, that might be too spicy. It's fun when there's a little danger to your food. And let's see, some shrimp, nicely clean and large. Oh my goodness, and they have whole steaks here. And as much as I would love to go for one, just too full. But since we're here already, let's give it a try. Okay, let's grab one of these. Lay it down right here, and I bet you I'm going to be regretting that. Uh, let's see what else we have. So some hot sauce, some noodles, and some other meats here. I think I'm just going to do a steak and noodle dish. So maybe a little bit of chicken. Next to the shrimp, the other white meat, and then loads, or a little bit, right over here. With a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of garlic. All right, and let's see the grill master. Hi, Chef, do I give this to you? Can I get the steak uh, kind of medium? And then can I get the noodles fried? Okay. All right, thank you. you Let's see what sauce. Can I go for the Mongolian sauce? Yes, oh, thank you. So I can feel the heat from here. Oh, medium? Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, and with the steak, I think we'll need a little bit of that lovely spinach. All right, nice and warm and cheesy. Right here. Oh, and I can't resist, maybe another potato. But this time, we will go for the smallest one, which is hard to find. I think maybe this one 
here. There we go. And that is more than enough. This is a very modest third round. And uh, I think that's all I can have. But the steak looks a little bit cooked too much. And let's see, is it the medium? I highly doubt it. But let's see. That is a lot of meat. Oh, I am pleasantly surprised. Never doubt the grill master, because that is a wonderful pink. I've got to give that a try. So it's not... <clears throat> it's a medium. So it's not the most premium steak. But again, this is a $20, $20 buffet, $25 on the weekends. And to have all different choices and even steaks here as well, that's a pretty good deal. And a little bit of cheesy spinach. And this time it is hot and fresh. Mm. Pretty nice. So it seems like the Western dishes are actually done really, really well. And I got to go for that potato. I can feel the crunchy crust there. And to counteract the uh, crunchy, creamy goodness, a little bit of steak. Oh, cheers. Mm. So I did mention, oh, that potato is good. But I did mention the Western food isn't as good. Let's see if the Mongolian noodles can redeem itself. See a little bit of noodles or a lot and a little bit of shrimp and I think that's all. Mm. Mm. Not bad and a little messy. And I think as simple as it is, the noodle has redeemed the uh, Asian food section. Really nice and charred, nice and hot. I'm already finding it's a little hard to speak. Not sure what's in the Dr. Pepper, but uh, very tasty. And this is tasty too. Mm. Mm. So, again, very modest. But I'll finish this up because I had way too much food. Because we still need to go back for dessert. Mm. A nice Pepsi for a change. So we are going to wrap up with a little bit of dessert. And uh, that was way too much. Shouldn't have gone for the steak. But uh, oh, let's see. So I think they are about to close up. And one thing you might not realize is uh, with eating and filming, it actually takes a bit of time. But uh, oh. These are butter crisps and they are quite light and airy. Moving on, marshmallow biscuits. I think these are little granola bites. And those, I know what those are. The wonderful Rice Krispie squares. And moving on, a little bit of jello. And oh, this is interesting. That is lychee jelly. I think I'm gonna give this a try. Feels like a lot of gelatin, almost bounces. And then we have the cakes here. And there is a spot missing right here, but I think that is going to be remedied. Oh, thank you so much. So they are very quick to replenish. And I think this is a green tea mousse cake. Carefully, right down here. Give it a wiggle and it still falls over. And they continue to tempt you because next to the green tea cake, you have a tiramisu cake. Okay, and my apologies, I am messing this up. All right, there we go. All right, let's see if this one stands on its own. There we go. And this feels like round two again where I got too much, but maybe we won't go for all of these and we'll only grab one. And I think that will be the orange mousse cake. 
right over here. And you might be hearing a whirling sound. And that's the whirling sound from the cotton candy machine. And that is a popular item. But I think I know what another popular item is. Hi, Isabella. Hi. Hi. Can, I, um, can I get some ice cream? Maybe the uh, cookies and cream? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. So happy to say I did not repeat the same mistake I made. Of around one and two and three, dessert is relatively modest. A little bit of ice cream from Isabella, some cakes, and I gotta try this butter crisp. Mm. Mm. It is crispy and extremely buttery and flaky. And I think the only thing it needs is a little bit of ice cream, a little bit of the cookies and cream. Oops. On the butter crisp. Perfect. All right. Mm. Perfect contrast of textures and very cold. So a nice hot cup of coffee to the rescue. Mm. Oh, much needed. And I think that tiramisu in the form of a cake looks very inviting. <clears throat> don't inhale when you take a bite of that tiramisu cake because that cocoa powder is a killer so you just gotta time it perfectly but look at those wonderful layers of cream and cake and cookie and cocoa mm. very nice I'm tempted to try lychee jelly but that is a bit bouncy and maybe too much gelatin. It's got an interesting bouncy chew, but I can taste the lychee flavor. Mm. And finally, the reason I got the ice cream is so that I can mix this with the orange mousse cake. I know the flavors may not go together, but that's okay. It'll still be delicious. Mm. And it is. So this is the harvest cafe over in Tacoma. Kind of really nice place. So you're not expecting a luxurious grand buffet, but for $20 on a regular day, 25, with a weekend dinner and all the food you get, it's quite a deal. The sushi station was great. All the Western stations were great. The crab, the Chinese stations were a little bit of a hit and miss, but the grill was kind of worth it as well. So, oh, I was trying to dispel some of the myths to confirm some of the bad and the good reviews. So let me see, the, um, the servers are great, got me to the table, but you don't see them. So it's more self-serve. So that's kind of expected with the drinks and everything. And uh, yeah, some of the food hit and miss. So that is plausible about the food quality. But overall, again, uh, for $25, it's, it's quite a deal. So the value is there. So a check for that. And I remember there was a comment saying everything was sweet, including the kimchi. So right here, I did pick up some kimchi from the condiment station. And uh, again, the comments were saying that everything, including the kimchi is overly sweet. So let's see if we can prove that to be true or not. Let's give that a try. You know? Honest to God, I was gonna say that that was false, but after tasting this, this is spicy but it does have a hint of sweetness. So comment about things being overly sweet. Maybe not true, but the kimchi, plausible. Mm. The hint of sweetness, but spicy as well. Very spicy and strong as well. I think you're only supposed to have a little bit of kimchi. 
So uh, it's kind of fun to disprove and validate some of the comments out there. So thank you so much for joining. This is again, Harvest Buffet, uh, Value Asian Buffet here in Tacoma. And uh, if you're here, uh, $20 uh, for a weekday uh, buffet dinner, 25 on the weekend, and then $14 for lunch, uh, great value. So uh, lots of, <laughs> actually the desserts, the appetizers, and the Western stations were one of the favorites. So thank you again for joining. And until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well, and I hope you're traveling well. All the best to you and yours, and God bless. And I think I need to try a little bit of the matcha cake as well. Mm. Very good.